Hey guys, Asyncton here, and today we are gonna design a banner. So this banner is actually for a, a a football team sponsor banner. We have a bunch of these little sponsor papers in, and we are gonna design the banner to go for that. So this client actually, I designed a banner for them probably three to five years ago. Here's the banner we designed back then, and they still love the design. So we're gonna go with something pretty close to this uh, with a newer sponsor. So. Um, we're going to get into it. I'm going to show you kind of behind the scenes and how we do everything. That way, if, if anybody has any questions or anything like that, I just want to know how we do this type of stuff, you're able to watch and kind of take note. So let's get into it. First, just by looking at this old design, I can tell that I have this metal texture here in the background with kind of like a blue overlay. And then I have the team uh, logo, which I have um, redesigned um, here recently. Not redesigned, but vectorized. Um, for some other projects. So we're gonna get into it first. We need to go and get us a good source of this metal background, which I use uh, free pike a lot. So our free pick, however you want to say it, kind of find a background that we, we want. Uh, and I have the paid version of this website. I highly recommend it. It's super cheap, it's like $10 a month. And you get a really like a lot of cool assets. So um, we can kind of find something to make our own little pattern out of it. This doesn't look bad. Yeah, and we can just download it here. Here we go. So now we have an EPS copy of this background. So let's see if we can just open it with um, Photoshop real quick. Which I know we can open an Illustrator because it is an EPS file, which is perfect. But for this case, we're doing everything within Photoshop. So the first thing I wanna do is see if this is like a seamless background, which it may not be because I see this kind of this gradient going on, but let's just try it out first. I'm gonna go to edit, I'm gonna go down to pattern, define pattern, and you can name whatever you want. That's fine. Come back over to my two by four canvas for the banner. I'm gonna hit button down here trying to pull up my pattern and stuff here so solid color gradient and pattern I'm gonna hit pattern this is whatever this talk come in and then our last one right here so we just kind of look at this and it's not seamless how we want it to so we know that we can't really use it that way but we do know that this pattern is a vector so if we open it with Illustrator Then if I just go ahead and make me a 48 inches by 24 inches canvas. Yeah. So that's massive, right? So copy this. I'm gonna see if I can just make it larger and just see how bad it looks or stretched or anything. Remember, this is just a background and it's not the main piece. So this does not look horrible. Everything's, you know, tax chart because it is a vector. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this. Just do a control C. Come back to Photoshop. And then just do control V and paste it. Important, we're gonna make sure we select smart object. Always do smart objects if you can. Now we're just going to resize it again to make sure it fits in our canvas. Make sure we don't have these white lines. Bam. Still looks really sharp, really clean. I'm going to go ahead and just rename this. I'm just going to double click this letter right here. I'm going to put metal, BG, and I'm going to select a little color right here. Uh, I know what it is. I'm going to lock it because I shouldn't have to mess with this too much. Now, the next thing is we're going to do a color overlay. So I'm just going to do a go back here, this button right here, and do solid color. I'm looking for a blue. And we can kind of adjust it as we see fit. Now, the overlay, we can just kind of ways we can do it like multiply, or we can do an overlay. I'm looking for kind of that darker feel. So I think I'll go multiply, hit enter there. And then it's a little too dark. So I'm going to see if I can line it up a little bit or change the color a little bit. So 
And remember, most of the times whenever you're printing things, it comes out darker than what you want on these large format printers. So you kind of have this right there. That's not too bad. Everything looks good. And again, we can go back to our example we had in the past. It's a little bit different, um, but I like it. So the next thing is, it looks like we have a stadium kind of in the background, kind of blurred out. So let's go back to our resources. And let's just look for a football field. And it's probably one, oh, probably just like that one right there. Looks close enough. Yeah, we're just gonna download that again. Make sure it's going where we want it. Save. And it is just a JPEG, so we need to make sure we keep note of that. Just bring it in Photoshop. Here's that file, and again, um, which I'm gonna do this again to convert to smart object. I'm just gonna name this field. And if you look at this last one, it didn't take up all of it. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and use um, some guides. So I'm gonna view, new guide layout, um, one inch from the sides, um, which isn't a bad look. Let's see here, maybe we'll do 1.5 inches. That way we know for sure it's not gonna run off. Um, especially when, once you put banner tape and you put the holes in there, we give us enough room. So there we go. We're gonna start from here and just kind of stretch it out a little bit. Oh, and that doesn't look too bad there. Look at this one. Probably need it to be a little bit shorter. But what we might do instead is we might just take a solid shape. Stretch that shape out how we want it. Maybe somewhere around there. Put underneath our field image and then I'm hold alt down and select in between them and that way it kind of like takes the shape of what's underneath it that's called a clipping mask because so now we can you know adjust our image within that and get how we want let's say go back there's not too much field in this one so we'll bring this down a little bit more there we go. Perfect. So we got that going there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of these. I'm going to pull them into their own folder. Just call this field again. And then I'm going to lock it. Then while in that same technique, I'm going to pull this color overlay and this metal background into its own folder. I'm just going to call it BG for background unlock it as well that way we don't mess with it and then we can always adjust this later so now we just need this logo so i'm gonna pull into my resources for this client then uh the logo here so let's open it up in illustrator pull our layers out and we know we don't need this background layer unlock everything else this is what we need i'm gonna do control c up here to control V smart object enter again I'm just gonna label this CHS logo um, what you can also do let's see here right there and this is called perhaps youth football and cheer so just go back to here T for text and then just start typing that out real quick so organize football and cheer I'm gonna make this white just so I can see it a little bit better and the text isn't quite like that I think I know what it is I think that's built old then I'm just gonna do the hit I for the color picker. Got that color I want. And then I'm going to right click on this and go to blending options. We're gonna do a color overlay. 
opacity to 100 percent this color right here and come back over here to our color picker on the left hand side pick that color press ok we also need a stroke it's be a white stroke so let's go ahead and bring it up a little bit okay go back to the original again this is a little bit darker so i might line it up we'll see how it goes afterwards um so there we go the next is we need this kind of uh grass grassy square i guess you would say so we need to get another shape and this banner is not the same size as that original one so we might have a little bit less the room than we had originally so i'm gonna make my shape here hitting Control t to resize and let's go ahead and put my, my guides up again this time just one inch that way i can bring this down a little bit more now we're gonna bring this up a little bit more. Sweet. So we have, we have our shape layer. Now we need to get grass. So again, just go to find some grass. click convert to smart object then I'm gonna open up the smart object and then we're gonna kind of do some adjustments so let's see if I go layer new adjustment layer and brightness I think I'm gonna brighten it up just a little bit because again it's gonna come out a little bit darker than what you see once you go to print so that doesn't look too bad I'm going to press save because it's a smart object, whatever I do here will automatically happen back over here. So just like how we did the field image, we're gonna take this grass and we're gonna do a clip and mask over that rectangle. Then we're gonna stretch this grass out. There we go. So we have this grass. And kind of same thing right here. And then we have a uh, thank you to all our sponsors on there. So, but before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and add some of that shading that we saw on there. So I'm gonna click on this rectangle, blending options. I'm gonna do an inner shadow. Black. Go, and then I'm also gonna do a bevel, I believe. Yeah, and the bevel's happening right here on the edges, kind of give it a little bit of a pop or shape to it. There we go. And so I'm again, I'm just gonna, before I do that, I'm gonna add this text layer. Hit T for text. Just click on here. And it said, thank you to all our sponsors. We have this and here, I'm gonna um, hold control. I'm gonna click on this rectangle so that it selects it. And then I'm, with my text selected, I'm gonna come up here to my alignment options and just make sure it's in the center. Looks like I did a pretty good job. There we go. And then now we can add our gradients. So you can just, again, right click, go to blending the options. Gradient overlay. Hit the gradient right here. We get some more options. We have our basic, oranges, greens, grays, cloud. Let's see if we have any uh, kind of like a like gold. Cool thing is we can also go back to free pike, free pick, whatever you want to call it. Gold gradient. Open up the AI file. We have our gradient. So what we could do, we just go into Photoshop cancel right here then I'm gonna select this text and just copy it then I'm going to hit the text tool over here paste it and we have our text here and then we should be able to just hit the eye tool and then 
Look at that. Again, it's one of these little star things. So maybe the swatches aren't working entirely correct. It's fine. We can just take this. This is a vector. Control C that. Come back to here. Control V. Smart object. Place it over the text. So we have some over the edges right here. Awesome. So next we want to give this a little bit more characteristic. I don't know if I did it in this one. Yeah, we got a stroke and a shadow. So come to the text. Blending options again. We're gonna give it that bevel. Maybe not as hard of a bevel. Give it a stroke. Change the stroke to black. Go. Maybe make the stroke a little bit smaller. We're gonna give it that drop shadow. 100% opacity. Get a little bit better, bigger. Spread it out a little bit more. Maybe make the stroke just a little bit smaller. There we go. And we do that just to give it a little bit more texture, make it a little bit more pop off the background. So, and then we gotta make sure. Let's look at that here. Then we can take all this and put it in its own folder. Again, just to keep it organized. Just label it something. And I think that looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and lock that for now so I just don't mess with it. Just give it a random color. Let's move this. Oh, can't move it yet. Let me move it, unlock it, bring it down. And lock it. Sweet. Then now we just need to go in here and we need to add sponsors. So, we'll pull up their folder. Then I'll go through. All right, so next we're gonna add our sponsors to the banner. So each sponsor has a package, and it be um, gold or silver bonds. Pull into here. And we're going to find the sponsor image that correlates to that. So, pull up my assets. Here's that first logo. Drop that into there. Kind of right click on that logo. Go convert smart object. And I always do convert smart object. That way I know I can edit it just like this. This is a lot of white space. So I'm just gonna crop it down. Kind of take away a lot of this white space that's not needed because it's just taking up space on the banner that's not doing anything for the brand. So control S and save that. So now we have that logo. But this is a gold sponsor, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a folder right here. I'm gonna type gold sponsor. Drop this picture in there. Rename this picture um, to something that I can remember who it is. Sweet. And because this is inside a folder, go ahead and just color this folder so I can see it. Because it's inside of a folder, we can right click on that folder, go to blending options, and we can add a style. So, I'm going to actually, let me zoom in so you can see a little bit better. Okay. So same thing, we're just gonna open up the blending options. And we're gonna, I think I'm gonna add a bevel to it, get a little bit more of a pop, add a stroke to it. Um, we're gonna come back and design the stroke a little bit better. Um, Cause I want to add a gold stroke to it. Um, that's a little bit cleaner. So, but you can do solid or, or gradient, whatever you want to do right here. Fill the top. I'm going to go to drop shadow. I like that shadow already. And again, because we are putting the images within a folder, I can just style that folder and it will dynamically style the images within that folder. So we got the first one out of the way. And then the next one, pull it up. It is this one right here. So again, it already has that stroke on there. I wanna make it a little bit bigger. So we have our gold over here. Let's go for that one, go to the next one.
Oh, which roughly the same size. Go to the next one. Oh, and actually that is a different sponsor. So do another folder. This is gonna be a silver sponsor. And so I can open up this and I can drag this image into that. Right click on this and give it a color. It's silver, so it should be gray, but gray is kind of like <laughs> what it comes to default. I don't like that. So I'm gonna copy the style from this. I'm gonna right click on it. Oops. Right click on it, copy layer style. I'm gonna paste it on the silver. Then I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna change um, some things. So maybe the stroke. Um, yeah, we'll come back and we'll style these a little bit better. I just gave it kind of a silver. And then I'm gonna place this image over here. So for this one, all I provided was this document, and I believe they said that we can just remake it. So we are going to redo this logo real quick. So we're going to pull up Illustrator. Just make a new document. Again, I'm kind of just messing with this to get it somewhat. I'll show you again. So, we got the basics of our logo. that and go back that's so what I think about is adding just a solid about right so go to the next one this company right here actually gave us a style guide so which, this is pretty cool if you have a business and you don't have a style guide I highly recommend it um, so we're gonna go through here and see um, how they want us to use their logo. Which I don't think they gave us a digital copy of their logo. So I want to go on the internet real quick and see if we can find it. Let me double check to make sure that we don't have any more sponsors that we're missing. Let's go through our sponsor. So that's basically it. And then so now what we're gonna do is kind of go through here, and just kind of make things a little bit um, stand out more. go so there you go that that kind of breaks up what we had and it looks closer to what we need so um we can now kind of bring in some more strokes and mess with those so let me um go and grab a gold gradient and be right back That's kind of bright and shiny. It's got a bunch of gold in it. That just gives it a little bit of extra to it. 
So. Um, really, we're just kind of getting it where it looks right. We got the gold sponsors pretty big over here. We have the silver sponsors over here as well. So that's about it, really. I'm going to save this. There you go. So that was the 2x4 banner, sponsored banner from beginning to end. Um, it took about an hour of my time. Would have been way shorter if I didn't have to, you know, build that logo out and then explain this video. So you can help these out pretty quick as long as you have an idea. Luckily, I had that design from the past that I kind of went off of. But that's basically it. Um, thanks for watching.